Hello and welcome to the Molly's Candy Crumbs page. Today we will be making a spiced pumpkin roll cake. This cake is incredibly moist and so full of flavor. It is sure to please even those who are not pumpkin spice fans, such as myself. Be sure to glance over the ingredients real quick and we're gonna get right into cooking this amazing cake. First, you'll wanna combine your flour and your spices along with your raising agents. Whisk that together till it's all good and combined homogeneously. That way all the flavor is evenly distributed. Then you're gonna to wanna to combine your eggs, your brown sugar, and your vanilla. Whisking that together by hand just to help break down that sugar so that it can easily dissolve. You'll know it's ready to put into a larger separate bowl when it looks like this. Once you put it into your larger separate bowl, it is time to get your electric mixer and you're gonna to wanna to start whisking it until it becomes light and fluffy and plenty aerated. This is gonna help give the cake lift and keep it fluffy, moist. Also, it helps dissolve the rest of that brown sugar, which will help keep the cake from being grainy. Now, we're gonna add in our pumpkin puree. This is homemade. I always like to opt for homemade, but if all you can get your hands on is canned, that'll work just fine as well. It just won't taste as good. You wanna carefully get all that mixed in there. Once it's looking like that, it's time to start adding your dry ingredients. In three parts, mixing in your seasoned flour. Being careful not to knock out all that air that we just created. This part is quite time consuming, but it pays off to be patient, gentle, and thorough in these mixing processes. Making sure that it is completely lump free and smooth, avoiding any and all chances of flower bombs, which are not only unpleasant to look at, but extremely unpleasant to bite into. Once your cake batter is perfectly smooth, it's time to dump it out on a baking sheet that has been lined with parchment paper. I cut the parchment paper to size and I used cooking spray on the baking sheet and then put the parchment paper on it to help the parchment paper stay in place better. Then you're going to want to smooth out your batter. Get it as smooth as you can, make sure to get it in those corners, get it up against the edge of the pan making sure to get it as level as possible all throughout the whole pan. Once this is done, you're going to want to give your pan a tap before putting it into a preheated oven set to 375 degrees for 13 minutes. Once your cake comes out, let it cool for 3 minutes. To prepare the towel that you're going to roll your cake in, first dust it with powdered sugar. Then gently turn your cake out onto the powdered surface. Now gently remove the parchment paper from the back of the cake, being careful not to let the parchment get stuck on the cake and tear it because that would be a disaster. Now you're going to roll up the towel 
and then you are going to gently start rolling that warm cake and then let it rest for 25 minutes. Check out the pumpkin spice buttercream recipe here because this is the delicious feeling that's going inside of this sweet treat. As with most buttercream icings, we gotta sift that powdered sugar. And we gotta whip that butter. It's gonna start out yellow, and then it's gonna get to a pale white doubling in volume. Time to start adding in some of that powdered sugar, half at a time. Give that a good little mix first to kind of help the butter get incorporated into the powdered sugar. Usually this helps with the cloud, but you'll see here it didn't much because I didn't have a whole lot of butter in there and I really actually added too much powdered sugar. But it's okay. Once it's creamy like this, you'll want to add in your second batch of powdered sugar. Remembering to leave some for garnish. Now you're going to want to start adding in your vanilla extract and give that a little bit of a whisk before adding in your milk and then continuing to whisk some more. Next you're going to want to add in your pumpkin pie spice seasoning and your salt and just whisking that in really good. That sure is delicious looking stuff. Time to add in the rest of your milk. This is the part where it gets creamy and silky smooth and it's gonna go beautifully inside of that cake. Now it's time to unroll this cake, being very careful while doing so. Dust it with powdered sugar. Now start smearing on that amazing buttercream. I'm taking it all the way to the edges because I'm not putting a whole bunch inside of this roll cake. But if you do want to put more inside of it, just keep about an inch away from the edges that way, whenever you roll it up, it doesn't come smearing out the ends. Now to the real tricky part, being extremely careful while rolling this cake. Now we're gonna wrap it in some cling film and set it in the freezer to chill for 25 minutes. This helps the buttercream set up, which in turn also helps the cake hold its form. While that is in the freezer, we're gonna fill this piping bag with the remaining buttercream using a 1M tip. This will be used to decorate the cake. Now that we have our cake out of the freezer, we want to unwrap it from this cling film and set it on a baking tray. Now you're going to dust the roll cake rather generously with powdered sugar. Wipe off the powdered sugar from the cake, leaving it looking just dusted. Now use the 1M piping tip with the buttercream in it to pipe on stars because we want our cake to look as beautiful as it tastes amazing. Dust the tops of those peaks with a little bit more powdered sugar just to make it look pretty. And you're pretty well done. 
Now we're going to cut into it and reveal that beautiful inside. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment letting us know what you think. Also, subscribe to the channel so you know when we upload new videos. Don't forget to hit the bell and share it if you know someone who would like it. Thank you.